Peyton, it's not Kendall, it's not Brooke, it's none of you, it's Peyton. Really, Peyton? What more do you want from us? No, you just sealed your daughter's face. How many times do I say let's not go back to the studio? And you choose to come back here. Shut your mouth! Minor spot, solo duet, anything, give her something. You all realize why you're here. You're auditioning for a spot on the Abby Lee Dance Company's competition team. It is not to be taken lightly. We're here to audition. I really can't believe that we have to audition. We've been here for four years, and I think it's, you know, ridiculous that we have to wait in this line with all these people. They're all strangers. She should just be in the group. Peyton, you know I love you. You're just not right for this particular competition team, so I have to let you go. It's just not fair. Hi. Um, I just need you to explain a few things to me. I don't understand. No worries. Why, Cat Payton? She's just too tall. But come on, find, you're Abby Lee Miller. Find a spot for her. She didn't make it for the first cut. She, she just doesn't fit she, into that team. She looks too why old. Why not? Isn't she it about dances what you very can do? mature. She's through it puberty. It doesn't matter. You should find her a spot. Are you bringing these strangers? Those three girls left after you cut her? Wait, they're strangers. Well, you know what they're like. You know what that. Wait, so I'm going to come from Ohio? You have no idea what these people are going to do for you. Leslie. Everything for you. Leslie. What? Calm down. Bull crap. I do everything right. You need to go home and rethink this. Try to sleep on your pillow and think about what you did to me and to Peyton tonight. Leslie. No, Peyton is too old know. to dance with those little kids. Find her spot, Abby. Find her spot. Find her spot. Solo, Find her spot. Solo do it. Anything. Give her something. Please welcome Peyton. What is Peyton doing here? She's gonna come in and try to take this spot right out from under Kendall. I hate this whole idea. Peyton, you finally have a place. There is only one spot open on this competition team. Kendall and Peyton both want that spot. I had your back, thought you had mine, thought we'd be friends. The group number started, Peyton and Maddie come downstage, and Peyton takes a kick me sign and puts it on her back. Peyton put it up too high. So instead of enjoying the number, we're all looking at Maddie's back to see if the sign's gonna stay on. And I was cringing. I'll never be your friend again. What do you think your critique's gonna be? Look, look. Better than Kendall? I thought she did better than Kendall, too. Thanks. I think you'll be getting that sweatsuit. Peyton, you almost screwed the whole entire dance up with the sign. You can't just, like, Wait, stick whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, whoa, whoa, me. You have oh, to make sure it's on there. Daughter's ponytails up high enough. Why are you going to say Peyton did? Well, well, yeah, but she has to correct what no, she's... No, Abby, yeah. it starts from the beginning, and did it Did you just say no, Abby? No, Abby. I thought she did fabulous. Right, and you're not a dance teacher. Hey, you tell me how you thought she did. I thought she was okay. I think your turns, suit new, never crossed your thighs once. You need to fix that turnout. I thought that I was better than most of the people for You all thought you were better than most of the people in this group? Wise. Oh, that's cocky. But that's how I feel, performance-wise. Hmm. Did you see everyone else dancing? That's how I felt. These are her friends. These are her comrades. This is her team. She shouldn't belittle others. That's my job. And on top of the pyramid oh. is Brooke. No offense to Peyton, but she towers over this dance team. She doesn't fit in with these girls. Now, my little Kendall fits right in perfectly. You dangled a carrot in front of her and you just ripped it away. For what? For her daughter to just come in and take a spot as a stranger? And for Brooke to leave and you take her back? Where is your loyalty? We have been so loyal to you. Wait, she's she's gonna go. How dare you? Our history. How dare me? Peyton got to go to St. Louis. She got to be in the competition. Peyton was on probation. It was not about being on the team forever. Somehow her mother got that all twisted in her mind. You know what, Abby? If you don't want her, we will find somebody that wants her to compete on their team. Peyton, let's go. You can keep your candle, and you can keep the rest of your group. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. 
End of story. After all of Abby's abuse, kicking Peyton off the team and disrespecting me, I want to show Abby that we can find another studio to compete at. And the fact that there's space available at Kathy's Candy Apples, icing on the cake. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. I want to make my mom happy, but I'm not sure how I feel about dancing for the Candy Apples. Hey, Peyton. Hi. Awesome job today. Thank you. I want to know if you would be interested in being on Team Apples. Um, I would definitely have to think about it. Are you a spy? No, no. So what you want back then? I just miss my friends. Uh, it's a long drive from where I live. It's mind-boggling to me that here's this kid that's got an opportunity to come over to a dance studio that's nothing but positive, and I walk up and I'm like, you know, what the heck? What are you guys doing? Hey. Come on. What are you doing? She's just not 100% ready to just come here and compete. Oh, Peyton. Peyton, you shouldn't have wasted my That's time. That's not true. As a advice. dance educator, Thank you advice. should not be saying it. You should say, it was my privilege to teach your daughter something. I I that should not be your answer. If Leslie, you are a positive educator, I, I you should not have taken that route. Leslie, honestly, you are way too much like the Pittsburgh Dance Moms for me. So I loved you. You can't handle me? And thank you. OK, Kathy. I loved you, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Kathy. So Candy Apples isn't the place for us. But my daughter is a star. I'm sure of it. And I won't quit until I find a place for her to dance. You know, if I have to go crawling back to Abby for Peyton to dance, then so be it. Leslie's been fighting with all the moms this week. So when she came into my party, I, I wasn't really excited to see her. Are you going to bully us? Because I feel like every time we're up in the viewing room, yeah, every time we say something, you're like jumping down. You know, I just bullying. talk loud. My voice gets loud. It's not bullying. It's how I talk. I'm here to enjoy myself this week and for to watch the girls and enjoy them dance. I think what the issue is at times, Leslie, is that the tone of what you're saying is very intense. You're and sitting here okay. listening to this woman, this drunk, say what she's saying, and you're sitting Call here. Call me a drunk again. I guess I just got a little sick and tired of her constant telling us why she belongs, why Peyton belongs, why we need to accept her, why we need to like her. You know what? I have a whole list of reasons why I don't, and I need to let you know. I can't tell you how many people have said that they have seen you in competition standing there with your beer bottle and your cigarette, and you are nothing but an intimidating bitch. I don't know if I was pissed that Leslie had been treating us crappy all week, or that she was ruining the party. All I know is I didn't want to see her face any longer. Shoot. Go away. Guess what? You got it. I think we're a really hard group to be accepted into because we've been together for so long and we have so much history. What a fabulous birthday that was. You know what? Yeah. Leslie's a bitch. Go into Studio A. OK, babe? Hey, you. How are you? What are you doing here? You know, I'm trying to come back. Why would you do that? Why would you put yourself through this? Well, it's not me. It's Kendall. Why? Doesn't matter. What's she going to get out of this? You know, when I started this studio, Kelly and Christy got to me. You have no idea what Melissa did to me. They're never going to accept you. And I don't like them, and I don't think you, know you like them. Who are you going to have on your side? You're going to be all by yourself. You're going to just have to defend yourself constantly and your daughter constantly. I couldn't tolerate them before. I'm not going to tolerate them now. Then why are you they here? Can... Then what are you doing? I just for Kendall. This isn't about me. And it was for Peyton. It doesn't work. That's right. It's not going to work. When I saw Jill going into the studio, I thought it was fair that I would just forewarn Jill that these women will just chew, chew her up and spit her out. These women are brutal liars. It's not like Jill doesn't know these people. Do you ever see their husbands around? They talk about their husbands like they don't even exist, or they don't want them to exist. Leslie's acting like a total immature baby. They're like high school bullies, you know? They have this fake relationship in front of each other, and behind their, each other's backs, they're talking about one another. Find another group for her to dance with. This isn't about me. I'm coming back to put my daughter in class. You're getting thrown to the wolves, woman. They're going to chew you up and spit you out. Just be prepared.
I like this spot right here. I'm pretty sure it's still Kelly's. <laughs> Leslie must be on some sort of mind-altering drug. You know, probably one she borrowed from Melissa. If she thinks she's going to replace Kelly on this team. I plan to tell Abby that we really want this spot. I don't want this just to be another fill-in week. Everybody has to think of the real reason why we're sitting here in the first place. It's to get our child ahead and dance. Good morning. Hi, Abby. Good, Good morning. morning. Good afternoon. Hello. New face. How are you? I'm good. Good. Finally getting to sit in Kelly's seat? I just want to let you know that she is really enjoying this, and we are going to take every opportunity that comes our way, and that's why we are here. Peyton has the energy. Peyton has the desire. She wants to do it. She wants to be the best. She wants this. You know how hard it is that when you don't, when she gets kicked off this team every time. It's not about being kicked off the team. It's about not being right for but the piece that we're doing. But it still feels that way to right. a 14, 15-year-old. Well, so every time I explain to her, but you still have to be there when she asks you back, and we are going to keep doing that. We don't want that. We want to be a permanent spot. Leslie is in my face about Peyton being on the team and being a permanent member and blah, blah, blah. You know what, Leslie? You are not making a very good case for Peyton's future. So, Leslie, let me just say, Peyton, that I'm happy you're here. But are you I am... happier that we're here and Kelly's not? Is well, that what I you're can't say, to say happier. That, oh, I am. That's not fair. I'm hoping that you guys get used to it being Peyton and I here and Kelly not coming back. It's fine. Listen to me, Kendall. You know just what, so Peyton? all of you know, my name's Peyton. It's not Kendall. It's not Brooke. It's none of you. It's Peyton. Shut your mouth! I'm going to ask you a question right now, Miss Peyton. And if you answer me yes, then you're Don't where answer. you should be Don't at answer. 15 years old. Do you have your solo costume with you? No? Then keep the smart mouth to yourself, because you'd have brought it just in case I wanted to write you in. Chrissy is so full of herself. She needs to just shut up and be grateful for what Abby does for her and her child. Sorry, I'm a real dance mom, and I will stand here. Why are you yelling at us? I'm you not. I'm you're yelling at my friend. Then you're yelling at Shush. her. You had too much to drink. Oh, you better whatever. settle it down. Bitch. Stop, 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 bitch. Stop. Kick your ass. Stop, stop. Sorry, I'm sorry. Don't hit bitch. Hello. Abby, I'm leaving. You are? I can't deal with the, the lies anymore. So I decided I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm Right before nationals? How could two mothers representing the Abby Lee Dance Company go out in the middle of Bourbon Street and get into a scuffle with each other? Well, well, well. Had a rough morning already. You've succeeded in driving yet another dancer away from the Abby Lee Dance Company. We were out. It was nothing to do with you or the Abby Lee Dance Company or the kids. You are all here because the Abby Lee Dance Company is attending a national finals. To say the least, it was unsportsmanlike behavior. Christy, you're out. Chloe is gone for this week. Leslie, you have to take Peyton home. You're gone. Hot damn. I would rather take a loss at the national competition than to let these two women stay here one more minute. I am scouting new talent. I'm looking for uh, a girl that is 12, someone short, petite, extraordinary legs and feet, the ability to work both sides, and uh, somebody that does all genres. You're good. Okay. You're beautiful. Stop it. I know my daughter, and she doesn't cry over nothing. You know, after Abby gave that checklist of what she's looking for in a dancer, and it's not Peyton, it made her feel very uncomfortable, and she feels unsupported on this team. Brooke's in the best outfit. Peyton, didn't you tell me you had that bra top at home? Are you ladies worried about her replacing your kids? Because I'm a little nervous. Oh, you know what? I'm sick and tired of it. Shut up. You know what? Your kid is 16 years old, You're right? and I put her on this team this weekend because we're doing a dance that she looks great doing. She's in the middle, and you're still bitching about stuff. I need dancers that I can count on. I thought I had Brooke, but she proved me wrong. So I bring in Peyton, but she's having a meltdown and boo-hooing over her hairstyle. Really, Peyton? This is your job. You don't want to be here? I have four kids standing in the hall right now that I looked at on stage earlier today that could take any one of your places. Peyton, you can't even look at me. You're looking everywhere else. Stop acting like a baby. You're 16 years old. 
and everybody's watching you cry. Save your tears for the pillow. You have an opportunity here. Don't blow it, kiddo. Mackenzie, see what it looks like when you cry like a baby? Peyton just fell. Who? Oh. What she happened? Where? Did you trip over? What did you trip over? Well, I almost put there and You heard a crack? All right, stop, 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 stop. Get over there and start reblocking this number. Wake up. Go. Take a break. <laughs> Take a breath. Oh, hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. My foot hurts too. All right, Kayden, strong. She's strong. She's really strong. I don't know what's going to happen. It can be broken. It can be sprained. You know, it doesn't matter. It's an injury. She's going to be sitting out no matter what, and which makes her even more vulnerable to being replaced on this team. <laughs> Bye. I'll call. We don't know if you get X-rays. <laughs> All right, girls. You re-blocked it, you should know it. That's your responsibility. If somebody goes out there and does the wrong spacing and messes it up, it's not gonna be Peyton's fault. It's gonna be your fault. Everyone's replaceable. All right, let's get to this pyramid. Of course, Peyton. Peyton, you have yet to admit that you were fooling around. First, you chipped over the leg of the chair. Then it wasn't the leg of the chair. Then it was Kendall's leg. But I'm hearing that you were making fun of the ballet routine on stage, and you were doing ballet steps, fooling around, and that's how you fell. Who are you hearing these stories from? Every single person that was backstage. She turned around and tripped over a prop. Don't try to make lies about my daughter. Peyton put this entire team and your victory in jeopardy. If you don't want her on the team and you want to kick her off, just kick her off. Goodbye. You're Goodbye. Go. Let's go, Peyton. Go. Remember that when you go to ask her back again. You can't keep messing with somebody's head over and over. You're the liar, not my daughter. Can you believe it? Peyton, thank you for joining us this week. You did an outstanding job. Thank you. All right, come on, we're gonna go. Let's go, guys. I want you to come thank the judges. Now, I thought that Peyton was outstanding. I thought she stood out in her costume, but Mackenzie in the group dance. I could not take my eyes off of her. So now we no longer just have Maddie. We have Maddie and Mackenzie put on the pedestal every day. I just love that Peyton stole the show. It was really Mackenzie. Uh, Mackenzie. Just, Peyton was it's so beyond good. ridiculous. Uh, God Almighty, Melissa, it's the same thing. These moms are so screwed up in the freaking head. They just love to pick on me for anything. So you ever going to see how we feel? Ever going to feel I, how we feel? I, I don't know, Leslie. No, she's not, because she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. Why would she? It's bull You, Leslie. You're so screwed up in the mind. Who? You. I'm so uh, oh, sick Oh, just of me. I'm so over her. I am very excited to introduce the new permanent replacements for Brooke and Paige. More importantly, for Kelly. Kira, congratulations. You will be replacing Kelly on this team. Kalani will be replacing Brooke and Paige. Abby, Peyton did what you asked her to do. She did. You're she just was trying to find a reason to throw us off the team this week. No. You have Peyton, who lives right here, who shows up at your studio four or five days a week, and you still are gonna bypass her. She, she follows every rule. Every single rule that you ask for, we follow. Don't ask me to congratulate Kira for being here, because it's not gonna happen. And that's just your games, your head games. All right. Leslie, Kalani can do it all. She doesn't acknowledge Peyton's talent, ever. She doesn't even acknowledge her here as a dancer. She could be in a trio. If there was a trio, she could be in the trio. Oh, come on. You but guys, for that, you sound like Abby. Your excuses, bull crap. She's a dancer. She could dance on that stage in a trio. There's no I in team, and you keep figuring out. No. It's all about I, my, my. And it bothers solo. me that we are here traveling with the team, and Peyton is not on that team with your group Okay, also. now see, my vision is more so than just Mia. Mia has a spot. permanent spot. And what and what is that permanent spot getting her this week? Does she have a solo? You're done. Does she have a group dance? At this point, she has nothing. So, quite frankly, Leslie, I really don't want to hear about you and Peyton and boo-hoo party.
But wait, I don't even know why she's gonna do her hair because the costume that you gave her doesn't fit her. It's a medium adult. Well, we have bigger ones, honey. Why didn't Kalani. you say something? You didn't give her the time. You took all your time out on Kalani. If Abby really cared, she would worry about what Peyton looks like on stage in her costumes like she does with Maddie and now Kalani. You just need a, a large adult. So you obviously can't wear this. So you don't want to dance? That's fine. No, no. Find her a costume. Find her something to wear. We want to dance. In that particular brand, you need a large adult. She's a hard to fit upper body. You would have known this if you would have done your work in the studio. Okay. Where's her custom costume like everybody else gets in this room? Has she ever had a beautiful custom costume when she traveled with this team? No, because I don't care anymore. Why? It's not worth the aggravation. For you to talk to me this way? Me? You bring it upon yourself by treating us this way. By bringing Kalani in, she's not your student. She's gonna use your name and leave. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like that. Do not I'm, tell me okay. what I am doing. You will use her name and you will leave. Listen, and lady, deal problem. with your own problem. I don't have to tell and you what you're gonna do, tell me. We all know it. Really? They all know it? Yeah. They're all fine with me being here. When it gets interferes with how my daughter should be treated, then guess what? I have a problem with that. Now, Peyton, I'm going to dismiss that. No, I'm going to say it in front of everyone. I have given you countless opportunities to be part of this team. But your mother's behavior today is unacceptable. You told me to shut up in public? I'm supposed to take that. Abby got mad at me and disrespected me in front of everybody. And now she's going to pick on Peyton? No way, Abby. What more do you want from us? There comes a time when your kid has to stand on their own two feet and mommy has to quit fighting. Leslie, stop fighting. I'm not the enemy. I'm your kid's best friend. I ridiculous. said maybe she fell out of her turns for a shoe and you told me to shut up. Because that is not you your up. place. You shut that up. is not your place. You know what? Sometimes no, I no, have to speak in simple terms. Do not disrespect me. Don't ever tell me to shut up again. You were wrong, Abby. You were wrong. This is a dance competition. Kiss my I ass. I am a dance teacher. I have kissed your ass. I let you come back. I respected you and I and I stay at your studio because I liked you and I like what you taught my daughters. I don't like this. I don't like you telling me to shut up. Leslie, just go ahead and leave. Nobody cares anymore. You just sealed your daughter's fate. Peyton, it looks like you were just another number.